start a new game. <laughs> Play as me, Mickey Mouse. Play as me, Minnie Mouse. for the job. Hope he still remembers us little guys. Oh, of course he will. Mickey's our very best friend. But you know, I I'm getting a little worried. He's late for the ceremony. Where could he be? Oh, don't you worry none, Minnie. I'll bet he's just getting spiffed up for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming. As you know, our dearest friend, Mickey Mouse, has been elected as our new mayor. But as you can see, he's nowhere to be found. <gasps> Word has it, he's skipped town. Therefore, by the power vested in me as your chief assistant junior deputy mayor, I hereby appoint myself as big cheese of this town. Oh, yes. The key to the city. No great mayor should be without one. Let the festivities begin! Oh, no! This is terrible! Mickey Mouse is missing and that scoundrel Big Bad Pete just elected himself mayor. Oh, Goofy, we've got to find Mickey. He may be in trouble. Mickey in trouble? Gorsh, this sounds like a job for my handy-dandy how-to-be-a-detective kid. Don't you worry, Minnie. If there are any clues here in the park, I'll find them. And I'll check Mickey's house. Hello? Anybody home? Afraid not. Streets closed till we're done. Oh! Well, do you think you'll be finished soon? Oh, yeah. Sometime today, most likely. Why are you doing all this construction? The new mayor likes to make changes. Big changes. Oh, I'm not 
so certain I like the sound of that. What will happen when you're done here? We'll open up the road again, and then I've got a big project downtown to do. How much longer do you think it'll be before you're finished here? Oh, not too long. This is my revolutionary new flying machine. With this device, people gonna be able to fly like little birdies. Oh, you mean like an airplane or a blimp? Yes, something exactly like that. But you know, not exactly. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? It's just too exciting. I only need a few more pieces. A bicycle, a propeller, and a bathtub. That should do it. You need a bathtub for your flying machine? Of course. Now excuse me while I make some adjustments. You're working very hard. Do you ever stop to eat or anything? Oh, I had a wonderful recipe for chicken soup that I was going to make earlier. But uh, I wrote it down somewhere and I <laughs> can't seem to find it somewhere <laughs> where I wrote it down somewhere. famous chicken soup recipe. Now I remember, I wrote it down on my handkerchief so I could always find it when I have a cold. Oh, this is a handkerchief? But why is it so small? I invented an extra powerful dryer that does a whole load of clothes in 28 seconds. And it shrank all my laundry. Oh. something fishy going on with these here trees. <laughs> Why are you in a bathtub? I gotta stay clean, don't I? I guess so. Have you found any clues, Goofy? Well, actually, uh, no. Lots of trees, but no clues. handkerchief I've ever seen. That's better. Say, there are some little teeny pictures on here. Well, what do you know? I think it's a recipe for chicken soup. <laughs> Look. Why, thank you. You can borrow my magnifying glass. A smart detective always carries a spare. I see you found my automatic soup making device. Oh, is that what this is? Yes, and it is most ingenious. It makes soup. I built it for a nice lady at the restaurant downtown. Would it be all right if I tried it? Well, of course. You're going to be helping me by testing it. Thank you.
Here, Pluto. Smell this and follow the scent. <laughs> oh, I guess you can't really smell anything with that cold, can you? Here you go, Pluto. Here's some nice chicken soup for you. It's just wonderful for colds. <laughs> Sure, but he's got plans, Minnie. Big, bad plans. You know, Pete. Oh, Mitty, we've got to get you out of there. Gee, thanks, Minnie, but the gate's locked, so you'll have to find a way to get up here to the window. Oh, Professor Von Drake did say he was making a flying machine. Oh, maybe that could help. Gee, that would be swell. Don't worry, Mitty. I'll get you out of there in no time. Aw, oh, thanks. Bye now. Good luck. I'll keep an eye out for you. Pluto, you can go home now, boy. Good job. I can recycle this. This is recyclable. so fast, I'm not sure. It seemed like the trees got sucked straight into the ground. Really? That's strange. It sure is. Say, Goofy, do you remember that factory being there before? Oh, nope. I think it's new. <laughs> I'd better check for clues. Goofy, I found Mickey, and he's okay. That's great. Where is he? He's nearby. He's locked in the tower at Big Big Bad Pete? Oh, I should have known. I've got an idea for rescuing him with a flying machine that Professor Von Drake is building. A rescue operation? Well, count me in. After all, Mickey is my best friend. Well, okay. How's it going, Goofy? I found a leaf. Any clues about the trees yet? I think these holes in the ground mean something. I'm betting that factory over there has something to do with it. What a mess! It's just like Big Bad Pete not to clean up after himself. Oh, look at this pile of trash. That doesn't belong in the park. Somebody really should pick that up. Good idea. Oh, okay. Thanks. I wonder if we can get the whole pile. I 
wonder if we can get the whole pile. Boy, I'm sure glad you're helping me. Thanks. Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Yes, the park looks much nicer without that old pile of trash. <sighs> A trash collector's work is never done. What is it? Mickey's in trouble. He's stuck up in a tower and can't get down. Would it be possible to use your flying machine to rescue him? Well, of course. But you know it's not quite finished yet because I'm still missing <laughs> a few little pieces. Maybe you could uh, help find him for me? Oh, yes. I'd be happy to. Well, what I still need is a bicycle, a propeller, and a, uh, <laughs> a bathtub. Uh-huh. A bicycle, a propeller, and a bathtub. Away. Oh, wonderful! I'm gonna be inside putting finishing touches on the machine. Toodaloo! The greasy fork, knife, and spoon. I've never had the courage to go in there. Frankly, it looks a little... said they'd send somebody right over. Well, I'm glad you're here now, honey. What? Oh, I think there's been a mistake. I, I was just... You ever worked sandwiches before? No, but you see, I didn't come here to... Oh, oh, oh don't you worry about it. You'll be working with the sand automatic automated sandwich-making machine. That charming Professor Von Drake made it for me special. But I... Uh... Oh. Oh, it's real simple. The machine gives you all the ingredients. You just put them together into sandwiches. You can start right away. But I, uh... Let's make some sandwiches!
chocolate pickle feet. Whoa, that's quite a mess. Why, I haven't seen the like since, well, since the big mustard brew. Ha ha. But you are doing a fine job. Why don't you just take a little lunch break right now? Well, okay. Hello, and welcome to Mandy's Candy. How are you today, Minnie? Well, Mickey's been kidnapped, and Big Bad Pete has him locked up in a tower, and I'm trying to rescue him. But other than that, I'm fine. Good. Glad to hear it. Mandy, aren't those chewy worms? Yes, chewy worms are so chewy they'll last all day. Here, try some. They're just like rubber. Rubber? Why, thank you. Pretty good, except I took a real bath on some gumballs. Didn't sell well at all. They were mustard flavored. Mustard? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Have you heard about those new raspberry whiz bangs? I got a case in yesterday. <gasps> Delicious. Ooh, sounds yummy. May I try one? I'm afraid not. I ate them all last night. Did I tell you that one of my regular customers, Cyrus Windbag, set the world's record for the biggest bubblegum bubble last week? Really? How big was it? Fifteen feet three inches. It made a pretty big mess when it popped. They're still digging him out. Did you hear that Fern Featherhead is re-roofing her house with gingerbread? Oh, it would be great, except the workmen keep eating all the shingles, so it's going to take a long time to finish. Why is she using gingerbread? Well, it doesn't leak as much as toast. Did I tell you that the people who made the mustard gumballs have a new product out now? Sawdust bars. I'm thinking of ordering some for the shop. Oh, it sounds interesting. It sure does. Have you heard the rumor that Beulah Bunch over at the restaurant is sweet on that Professor Von Drake? Oh, <laughs> Professor Von Drake? Really? She was in here buying a big heart-shaped box of chocolate whirligigs just the other day. May I try one of those over there? Of course. Thank you. I think that was sauerkraut flavor. May I try one of those blue things? <laughs> Certainly. Oh, why, thank you. Mm -mm. That's a good one. May I try one of those blue things? Be my guest. Thank you very much. Delicious. May I try one of those red things? Sure, here you go. Thank you. It's saltier than I expected. Ooh, I'd like to try one of those chocolate things, please. <laughs> Certainly. Oh, why, thank you. Oh, that one made my nose tingle. <laughs> I'd like to try one of the little round things. Of course. Thank you very much. Oh, tastes like strawberry. Will you let me try one of those shiny things? <laughs> Certainly. Thank you. It has a certain texture. Like sandpaper. Will you let me try one of those shiny things? <laughs> Certainly. all day. Oh, but I shouldn't. <laughs> Come back soon. Hello and welcome to the PG Bank. Mr. Penny Pound's the name. <clears throat> How may I help you? Oh, hello. Are you offering any special deals today? As a matter of fact, yes, we are. If you deposit as little as one dollar in our robber-proof safe, you will earn the most distinguished title of our 100th customer. Oh, but what if I don't have any money? Then you may stay and admire our remarkable security system. No charge. Why, thank you. That 
that basket is for new customers only. Um, may I please borrow it for a little while? Well, all right. You may borrow it until we get a new customer in here. How does that sound? Oh, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Pinpack. Excuse me, could you tell me about the bank, please? Why, my dear friend, this is the official bank of the city treasury. You won't find a safer bank in the entire town. Well, I didn't think there was another bank in the town. Oh, shh. Don't tell the money that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, my friend, but I'm afraid you won't be able to get into our high-security vault, no matter how hard you try. What's in there? Why, the entire town's treasury. Every penny this town has is locked up good and tight in the PG Bank vault. No one could ever break in. Goodbye, Mr. Pinnipound. Cheerio. Say something! <clears throat> I said, my, what a beautiful lawn you have here! Oh, gee, thanks! If only I could get this last leaf, it would be picture perfect! I hate leaves! Excuse me? Huh? Oh, it's you again! Come here, you! I'm gonna crunch ya! What's the problem? Well, no matter how long I chase this leaf with my blower, I just can't catch it! <laughs> Technology! Sure wish I had something easier! Oh, no! Well, I almost had it, see? Almost had it in my hand! Then the blower blew it away again! Who invented this thing? A leaf? Don't you have anything? I had a rake once, traded it for the blower. What I wouldn't give to get that rake back. Here you go. Say, nice rake. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nice rake. You're in for it now, Leaf. Gotcha. Just look at that lawn. I've been after that leaf for two months. Who knows how much longer I would have been out there if you hadn't have come along. Oh, well, I'm so glad I could help. Yeah, whatever. Work day's done, and what a lawn. Time for some lemonade. Ooh, yum. Yeah, catch you later. And thanks again. Well, I never. <laughs> well, at least it's quiet around here. I'll pick this up. It's recyclable. Minnie, I've 
had it. We've got to find a way to get my bike back. Well, all I know is that the weasels are kind of sleepy, but they aren't allowed to take a break. Aha! Uh -huh. Minnie, all that construction downtown is probably keeping those weaselly weasels awake. You've got to find a way to make it nice and quiet for them. How's it going? Oh, fine. Except for that cat, I guess. Hey, why don't you go home where you belong? Aw, oh, poor little kitty. He's just looking for a friend. Friend? He's looking for lunch. Poor little Luciano. He won't even come down from his perch. He's so scared. Oh, my. That's just terrible. Sweetums, you have a nice time and be home before supper. Slept for three days. And it has made us very, very cranky. So I'm stray. Well, what a sore head. Why don't you boys just take a nap? A nap? Oh, oh, that's a good one. Did you hear what she said, Wallace? Yeah, I heard it. In the first place, Munchie. That's me. Whatever. Anywho, even if Pete would let us, how could we take a nap with all that racket? It's like a zoo around here! Do you hear something? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I hear some kind of music. Reminds me of a song Mum used to sing to us before going to bed. Oh, you're imagining things. Look, we can't let you have the bicycle. <sighs> Big Pete passed a law against bicycles, and he told us not to rest until we get all the town's bikes. Hey, keep your mitts off that bicycle. It's off limits by order of the mayor. But why? The mayor owns a big gas station, see? So he wants everyone driving cars. Don't you touch that bike, or I'll be forced to put you under arrest. Oh, speaking of arrest, arrest sure sounds nice right about now. Oh, if only we could get some peace and quiet. It's about time for lunch right now, but unfortunately, I forgot my lunch. Again! Well, maybe you should have lunch at a restaurant. There is a sandwich place I like, but I'm not allowed in there anymore. Well, what if somebody brought you some lunch? That'd be great! There! I brought you a sandwich! 
Say thanks. Horseradish on rye, my favorite. Lunch break! I don't have the slightest idea how to use one of those things, and I I'm not really interested in learning just now, but thank you anyway. The vanishing cabinet's on the other side of that room? Yeah. I'll do anything I have to do to get rid of that freeway and get your house back together. I promise. Thanks. How's Mickey doing? Mickey? Oh, he's trapped in Big Bad Pete's Tower of Evil. I'm working on a way to fly up there and rescue him, though. Can I go? You're an expert flyer? Well, then of course you can come with me. What's the big idea? Life is much What's the big idea? <laughs> Thank you. yourself. <laughs> Why does it take two of you to collect the tolls? I take the money, and Frankie here takes care of people who don't pay. What do you two do when you're not in the toll booth? Hmm? We're always in the booth. We never close, and we never leave. While we're here. Yeah, they'd have to get rid of us first. So, what would it take to get you two to disappear for a while? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's a brand new toll booth. See? I told you Mayor Pete wouldn't let us down. Let's check it out. Say, this is nice and comfortable. Yeah. Fish. 
lunch. Now you won't get hungry. It's perfect. Now we need, you know what? We need the bicycle and the bathtub, and it's gonna be ready to go. Hello. Would you like to set up an account? Well, um... <laughs> no, of course you don't. Why should you? No one wants to trust his money with us now. Not after the robbery, that is. <gasps> robbery? Oh, yes, it's just awful, really. Someone came in here while I was getting a cup of coffee, broke into the vault, and stole the town treasury. The robber must have had a key. Only two people in the world have the keys to this vault. I have one, and our beloved mayor has the other. And certainly the mayor wouldn't steal the town's own money. Now, don't you worry, Mr. Penny Pound. The money's bound to turn up soon. Oh, still empty. How could anyone steal the town treasury? <laughs> Oh, 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 ah, ha. Hey, Wallace, you hear something? Oh, sounds like music. Where's it coming from? Oh, up. Did you say yup? No, I said up. You know, like the sky. Oh, hey. It's those birds! Yeah. Hey, do you hear those birds chirping? Yeah, it's not bad, actually, now that the hammer's gone. Restful. <sighs> um, peaceful. That song they're singing is a little grating, though. Hey, somebody should teach them something more... more... Relaxing? Yeah. those telephone lines. <laughs> rock a -bye, Weasel. <laughs> Save this song. Your song has been saved. <sighs> hey, Wallace. You hear what I hear? Yeah. Those birds finally found a decent song to sing. Well, it's about time. Watch the back for me, will you? I'm gonna catch a few winks. Uh, oh, yeah, sure, no problem. You watch the bug. I'll just take a little nap here, okay? that it uses no fuel whatsoever. It's bicycle powered. It's better for the environment and a waistline too. <laughs> oh, what a good idea. I'd love to hear about some of your other inventions. Well, I invented a thing that blows hot air at your head. Not only does it keep your head warm, it dries your hair if it's wet as well. Look at all of this. 
Yeah, what do you want? Oh, uh, Pete sent me to clean the tub. Huh? Ah, oh, gee. And just when I was about to get behind my ears. Hold it, Louie. There was something fishy about this. Fish? Where? No, numbskull, I said fishy. Calm down. Whew. I'm scared of fish. They bite. You beat it. No one scrubs the tub unless I say so. You hear? Um, excuse me? Yeah, what do you want? Um, I've been sent by the mayor to, to shut down this factory. What? Criminy. I was just about to clean my toes. There are lots of creatures who need these trees. Birds and squirrels. Even Fish? Where? Keep your bubbles on. There's no fish in here. You got it? There isn't. I'm scared of fish. Get back in the tub. And you don't let me catch you around here again. Got it? Is it my turn yet? Nope. Hey, is that a fish I see in there? What? <laughs> Just kidding. Ah, oh, gee, Larry, what you trying to do? Give me a heart attack or something? Whoa! What was that? Ah, what? Where? <laughs> it's nothing. I thought there might be a fish in here, that's all. Hey, kid, will you stop splashing us? Larry! What is it? I c could be wrong, but I think there's a fish in here. <laughs> You're imagining things. No, really, I just felt something! Ouch! Fish! Fish! <laughs> Look out! Oh! Hooray! The trees are saved! That'll teach those weasels to interfere with Mother Nature. Minnie, I'm already going as fast as I can. I want to go home. We have to rescue Mickey. I think I see the tower over on the port side. Port left. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah. a fish. Fish? Fish? What fish? <laughs> Yahoo! Split up and look for clues. Good idea. I can guess them. Right. I'm sure Mick is around here somewhere. <laughs> Watch me blow the rabbit out of my hat! Donald, I don't think there's time for the rabbit out of the hat trick right now! Watch this! ta -da! Oh, that's pretty good, Donald. But I thought you said it was a rabbit. What? Find anything? A garage door opener! A garage door opener? That's nice. <laughs> What's that big idea? Did you find anything interesting? I found some gum. Gum? That's nice. Oh, no, I wasn't. Ah, fool. Have you found any clues? No, but I found some shoes. Mm, I don't think that'll help. Hello, oh, little rabbit. Did you find anything interesting? I found some gum. Gum? No, I wasn't. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Have you found any clues, Goofy? No, I sure haven't. 
all day, I'll have to ask you to keep away from the door, Miss Big Pete's orders. Okay. That's better. Do you think Mickey's in the room behind that guard? Guard? Oh, him. <laughs> I thought he was a statue. What do you think we should do about that guard? Well, he's asleep, so uh, he shouldn't be too much trouble. I know, but the bird keeps waking him up when I get close. Oh. Oh, Goofy, I really think we've got to get past that guard. Well, the handy-dandy how to be a detective kit says you can get by guards if you use hypnosis to put them to sleep. He's already asleep. The problem is that that bird keeps waking him up whenever I go over there. Hmm. Well, the detective kit says there are two ways to deal with attack animals. You can distract them with food, or you can scare them away. Hmm. Hi, Daisy. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to look for clues, but it's really hard when you're trying not to touch anything. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Why, this kitchen is heaven for unwanted germs. Pete must eat at restaurants every night. Well, back to work. Found anything yet? Oh, just a dead bug in a sandwich. Ew! How's everything going, Detective? Well, I hope you're not hungry, because there's nothing you'd want to eat in here. Oh, well. The cupboard is bare. Really bare. Oh! oh. Pete certainly has that locked up tight. You know, I could pick that lock, but I'll need a crowbar. I guess Pete wants to keep an eye on me. <laughs> you got that right, Buster. And there's nothing your little friends can do about it. Oh, stop that! Ouch! Oh, wow! Oh, ow! You'll be locked up there till your ears turn gray. Pete, you'd better let Mickey go. You're just a big old meanie. Meanie? <laughs> Pete, you let my Mickey go! <laughs> now look here, little Miss Mouse. I'll keep your boyfriend locked up until his ears fall off if I want to. Oh, no! So why don't you and your pathetic band of do-gooders vamoose? I'd like to enjoy the town's... Uh, my money in peace. Ooh, you let Mickey go or else! Or else what? Or else... Um... Oh! <laughs> Mickey, how are we going to get you out of that cage? Oh, gosh, Minnie, I don't know. Pete's got the key. Mickey, what does Pete want with you anyway? He wants to make sure I don't become mayor. Why does Pete want to be mayor? Because then he can get the key to the city and use it to steal the town's treasury. That's terrible. That's got to be where all his money came from. Well, don't you worry, Mickey. We'll figure out something. Psst. Hey, Mickey, do you think you could squeeze through the bars of the cage? I tried that already. Besides, Pete would be waiting for me. Any ideas yet, Mickey? Nope. I'm afraid not, 
But one thing's for sure, we gotta get Pete out of here first. Now stand still, Goofy. This won't hurt a bit. I hope. Phew. That feels much better. Now this is the life. Ouch! Quick! Let me in! <laughs> Gorsh, Mickey! Are you okay? <laughs> you bet! Oh, hooray! Hooray! Ha! Guess we won't be seeing him for a while. Oh, Mickey! Aw, oh, gee. <laughs> You're the best pals a fellow could have. Miss Mouse, if I might be so bold, I'd just like to say how very good it is that you were able to rescue the contents of the treasury. I do believe you've saved the entire town. Oh, thank you, Mr. Penny Pound, but I just did what needed doing. Uh, perhaps. In any case, we all certainly owe you a debt of gratitude. You saved all those trees from getting turned into toothpicks, too. Cow, oh, well, my wool! You were very brave, Donald. Especially up in the flying machine. Oh. I believe this rightfully belongs to you, Mr. Mayor. Aw, shucks. <laughs> Won't somebody please bring me a sandwich? And, Madam Mayor, I'm pleased to tell you that we have arranged a special surprise. A surprise? <laughs> what is it? The phenomenal success of our recycling program has allowed us to build this amazing new car. Oh, it's lovely, Mr. Pennypout. <laughs> For me? Come on, Minnie. <laughs> It'll be fun. Well, all right. I wonder if... Professor Von Drake was able to repair his flying machine. Aw, oh, don't worry, Minnie. If anyone can fix it, the professor can. How do you like that? I repaired the flying machine. Huh? Oh, where did everybody go? Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Yeah! Look out below! I'm all right.